So in this one, you're being asked to figure out how many bonding electrons there are in F2. So this diagram here is something I pulled out of the test uh, test four, and it's something that you could do as well. You can just copy down this diagram, or just use that diagram, or print it out, or whatever, so that you can do exactly what I'm going to do here. So F2, it has a an atomic number of nine. So that means there are 18 electrons, which we get from 9 times 2, of course. So I have to put in 18 electrons here. And when I'm filling this, I fill it according to the Aufbau principle, which means I fill from the bottom to the top. And then I use Hund's rule and go across as well. So let's see how that works. So we'll do one side first, this, this side first here. And that means we do one, two, three. That's the Hund's rule, and the Alf and the Alfbau principle was having to fill from the bottom to the top. And that is nine. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's where I get my eighteen from is from the combination of these. So the 18 go in the middle here, starting at the bottom here and working my way up. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then when I get to here, I've got two equal, I've got two equal energies. So I put one here and one here. So that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the question here is how many, how many electrons are in bonding orbitals? Now the bonding orbitals, I'm going to circle them here. They're the ones that are at the bottom of each one. And the antibonding ones are the ones that have the stars on them. So all of these are what I consider bonding, and all these other ones are antibonding. So if you were asked for bonding, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the answer would be 10 uh, for the bonding. Now for antibonding, it would be, let's see, there's 2 there, 4, and then 8. So it'd be a total of eight in antibonding. But you're asked for bonding, so the answer is going to be the answer is going to be ten.